birth order. Can it have some concerns of how siblings interact? Yes. Can, can a one in three be, have more problems or a one in one or a one in two? Because the ones expect everything and the threes give up everything? Is that how it works? Well, the, fir- the first one, the studies show, always have ho- uh, are the kids that are develop-, develop and they're actually wind up being more independent in life. They tend to have higher success and achievement levels. There was a famous psychologist at Harvard, McClellan, found that. The mi- now, we all know there's something called middle child syndrome. And um, very often, and I've seen it in my practice, for whatever reason, the middle child seems to have more difficulties. Now, the third child usually is, like you say, given to, taken care of, uh, gets uh, in a lot of ways, permission to do things that he, uh, the older children had to wait much longer to get. The parents have kind of gotten used to it. They've maybe even kind of allayed some of their fears. So each child, yes, birth order has a very big effect on how people are raised and how they interact.